This is a Luis Jimenez piece, and we purchased it at a show that Adeliza had, just all of uh, Jimenez's uh, work, some of his big fiberglass pieces. I think he had his motorcycles in there, etc. It was really a great show. And my husband saw that, and he said, oh, wow, that reminds me of my youth. And we've uh, really enjoyed having it here because it's full of energy. Oh, I can just see your plates that you had up there. Well, uh, all of the things the Gilhuli Moose had, and I think that Arneson had, had a, a little plaque uh, of three ceramic things that said, Candy Store Gallery. That's right. She always gave you a warm welcome. Always. And you never knew what to expect inside. Or outside, for that matter. Remember the big Gilhuli uh, credit card roll pool? You know, oh, the yeah, that's what I was thing. talking about. Yeah. She just had it out here. She just had it out there. This is um, El Filo. It's done by Luis Jimenez. We have a friend who's Spanish, and we didn't know what El Filo meant, so we asked him, and um, he said it means the edge, or on the edge. And when you look at this guy riding this motorcycle, it looks like he's accelerating, so he's definitely on the edge. And then over here, right behind you, we have another Luis Jimenez piece. This is a lithograph called Honky Tonk. And uh, it's one of my favorite pieces by him. Uh, you know, it shows formal training in drawing and drafting by him. But uh, he kind of soups it up a little bit with the glitter, which is way cool. This is Luis Jimenez. It's a snake. And the uh, Crocker Museum in Sacramento has a piece called Progress 2, I think, or the cowboy on the horse roping the steer. And this snake is also in that piece uh, right under the horse. Bob made this for my wedding. On this side it says Ross David Turk, which is me. This side it's Paula Beth Gauss, which is Paula. And on the top it says September 29th, 1989. And the bottom, he's always got to have humor. It says Arnison 89, auction value 5,000. <laughs> I think he underestimated that part. But something also I've noticed, Bob's done a lot of bricks. I've never seen one before that was scored like this. So I guess I always ask myself, why did Bob do this? And the only thing I can come up with is that if, the, if we don't make it as a married couple, we could just break this in half very easily. And we could each have our own half. Why else would he do that? I mean, he's already got the line to break it. Ad Liza was not into decorative art. You know, you're not going to find this kind of art hanging in hospitals or hotel rooms or, or anywhere else. It's, you know, it's going to be in collections. But that's another thing. I mean, Adelaide, I mean, I've been to people's homes uh, in Sacramento. Uh, in fact, I like to do it when I uh, come out here is to go visit people that have collected. And a lot of them have some, they've got outstanding pieces that they would have never had if the candy store hadn't been there. I mean, Adeliza made it available. She made it affordable. I mean, you know, she did just about everything. I mean, she could convince people uh, to take a chance. I look at what I've collected over the years, and I'm not sure if it's my collection or hers. Uh, I don't know. She started me off on the right foot. <laughs>